Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy. Let's go take a look at what's in Android version 4.0.4, .4, the latest release from Google, and let's also take a look at a happy surprise for one particular device. So Android version 4 is Ice Cream Sandwich. 4.0.4 .4 is the latest version, and it is now available in the Android Open Source Project, the AOSP, which means you can get it in Cyanogen and some of your other favorite custom mods if you don't have an update for your phone from the manufacturer. So what does it do? Well, honestly, not an awful lot, but an awful lot. Does that make any sense? Let me show you. A lot of stuff has been reworked for example, the camera. There have been some marginal improvements there that just make things faster, a little bit quicker, a little bit, uh, well, smoother, like Ice Cream Sandwich was supposed to be. Something else that's happened is screen rotation. So take a look at this. First time you rotate a screen, it takes a minute, but then screen rotation is pretty fast. Okay. Now, one thing to note about Android is, unlike some other operating systems, screen rotation does have a pre-programmed hesitation built into it to make sure that you really do want to rotate the screen and not just, you know, I'm holding it at a slight angle. Oh, the screen rotates. I didn't mean to rotate the screen. So it tries to make sure that you're being deliberate with your screen rotation. So you'll notice that little bit of hesitation up front, but then the rotation is very smooth and very fluid. The next thing that some people have complained about is the animation and the time that it takes to get into the multitask feature. So let's go ahead and do that. Turn the phone back on here. This is my Galaxy Nexus. And quick tap. So really quick, it does fade in, so it still has some of that nice uh, smoothness and animation, but the lag that was associated with it is, is seemingly gone. There's still a little bit of room for improvement. So here's the fun thing that I wanted to show you. That is the Nexus S. And if you remember, there's been some problems with the Nexus S getting ice cream sandwich. It's a Google device, so you'd expect that it would get ice cream sandwich right away. And in fact, it was one of the first devices to get ice cream sandwich. And then probably the first device to have ice cream sandwich pulled. They stopped doing updates for it and kind of stopped there because there was so much lag. There were so many problems that it brought up. Google thought it would just be better to let's just turn that off for now. Well, now it's back with Android version 4.0.4, .4, but the only OTA update for it updates people who already had 4.0.3. So if you're still way back on gingerbread, it may be a little bit of time before you get the 4.0.4 .4 update, or you may have to do a manual flash. A little bit of complication there because no one seems to have the 4.0.3 update, at least not for every phone, this one in particular. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this does. Unlock the phone there. So here is the Pocket Now website, and we'll go ahead and rotate that. You'll see the hesitation and then the rotate is just very smooth, very fluid, really nice. Let's look at the multitask to do that. You press and hold the home button, and there you go, pretty quick. Not too bad. So there it is on the Nexus S. Now there's one other device I'd like to show it to you, and well, that's the Motorola Zoom. Unfortunately, my Zoom has not gotten the 4.0.4 .4 update just yet, so we'll have to make do with this. Overall, if your phone can get 4.0.4, .4, get it now. It's awesome. It makes things smoother, a lot more fluid. These are just some of the ways that you can show off that smoothness, that fluidity, better than others. A lot of people out there are saying that this is the way that Ice Cream Sandwich was really meant to be experienced. Now, there have been some rumors that CDMA devices are not getting 4.0.4. .4. And there's been a lot of people saying, well, that's because Google doesn't love CDMA, blah, blah, blah. Not true. In fact, they're going straight to 4.0.5, which includes all of these improvements and enhancements. It just has to do things differently because it's on a CDMA device rather than a GSM device. So really nice. If you can get it, go get it. Even if it's on a custom ROM, I highly recommend it. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you like seeing this kind of information in video format, give the video a big thumbs up and go ahead and head on over to pocketnow.com so you can keep up to date on all the news, tricks, and tips that are coming out not only for Android, but for 
other smartphones and tablets as well. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.